Good evening, everybody. Our opening pitch is Milan and Knox County District Baseball. Second inning action. Julian Hurst of Knox County crushes one to right field that would score a couple of runs. Milan would tie it up in the fifth inning thanks to a long double by Cooper Sanders as he sends it all the way to the fence. Here's the game winner for Milan is Colton White who gets the job done. The final 10 to 9. Too bad someone had to get beat because the kids, both teams were resilient coming back and forth. And uh, if it wasn't for a walk-off hit by Colton White, heck, we might still be playing. Let's head north. It's Schuyler County and Putnam County. First inning action. Wide homer goes the opposite way to score Keaton Nelson from third base. Later in the inning, Riley Veach gives it a ride deep, deep to left field. The sacrifice slot would bring home a run to make it two to nothing. The Rams led early, but they lost the final this afternoon, 17 to 12. The district baseball games at Green City have been rained out. They will try it again on Monday. The Kirksville baseball team starts district play against the winner of today's Macon Moberly matchup. The Tigers realize that no matter who they play, every pitch counts. You got to be mentally focused and one play at a time and, and, and be prepared and and the guys, the guys always want to have fun, and, and we do that and keep ourselves alive to, to play the next game. This Sunday on ESPN, the show Outside the Lines will examine the life and death of former Oskaloosa and Iowa football standout Tyler Sash. The show will air Sunday at 10 and then again at 11 o'clock. In golf, Kirksville Strand Halderman will head to state on Monday. His goal is simple to be all state. It is very possible as long as the flat stick is on fire. It's kind of been inconsistent at times, and I'm starting to make some putts uh, that I haven't been making at the beginning of the year. So I'm just going to work on uh, my lag putting and uh, knocking in the six, seven footer. The Plato will try and defend his state golf championship next week. The guys will be trying to win it for Coach Chaz Walgren, who is leaving school at the end of the year. Coach is a good coach. You know, he's taught us a lot these last couple of years. You know, not many coaches come to the school the first year and win a state title. You know, that's very impressive. So, uh, overall, the last couple of years, he's uh, impacted me a lot in my life. The pressure's on. We, we want to do good for him, and he wants us to do good, and we care about each other a lot, and it just means a lot to all of us to do it again. We're real close to our coach. He cares for us. We care for him. We all, we're a real close team, and winning it again would be the greatest experience probably of my life. 